My job is to relax my legs enough to get his head to about here. Oh, and then at the last moment, we're gonna close them and allow our partner to hit that forward roll over their shoulder. Okay, you saw that once his feet got off the floor, I kind of guide him over my right shoulder instead of like launching him up to the sky. That's not the, the, the throw. So quick look at Tomoe Nagi, all right, when you're down on the ground. Tomoe Nagi is one of our favorite techniques from a standing position, way of getting our partner down to the ground. You can do it from the ground as well. When I first started doing Jiu Jitsu, I don't know, they still call it this, the top hat sweep. What else they call it, balloon sweep? It's got a couple of names. I learned it as Tomoe Nagi. Check out this sophisticated guy here. <laughs> so Tomoe Nagi is, uh, essentially it's a technique where we take our partner up overhead. Okay, we can place two feet on the hips, we can place one foot as a deli heel hook and one foot on the hip. And the idea is that once you get your partner's head over your head, you have the ability to take them through. So there are a lot of different setups from here. Okay, a common one is you're in some kind of like sleeve lapel grip. Okay, it can be cross collar or straight collar here. It can be down low on the partner's cuff or it can be up higher. For Tomoe, generally, it's a little better to get like this tricep grip, but you can do the throw from here as well. So we're playing some form of open guard. Maybe we had our guard closed and we're hipping out and our partner likes to stand up. Okay, when he goes to stand up here, we wanna start, in this case, with our feet on our partner's hips. Again, if you can move your hand to the tricep grip, you're gonna have a little bit of a better purchase. Our entire job when we're doing Tomoe Nagi is to get our partner's head over our head. Okay, if you can get head over, your partner's head over your head, you're gonna be able to move their hips and lift them up, okay? But as long as your partner's head is behind your head and their hips are back, lifting is gonna be very difficult. So how do we do that? Well, we can't push with our legs. This is the most common mistake. People push and straighten with their legs, everything is tense, they pull with their arms and nobody goes anywhere. All right, we're both kind of stuck here. So actually, we're gonna relax our legs and we're gonna pull and open our elbows here, all right? My job, is to relax my legs enough to get his head to about here. All right, we're gonna use this opening of the elbows to draw our partner forward. So open, draw, and then once the head is forward, we're gonna to start to straighten and lift. Your first job after their head is over your head is to get your partner's feet up off the floor. It's not to throw them, I just wanna get his feet to about here, okay? So first job, bring the head over your head. Second job, relax your knees and then bring your partner's feet up off the mat. Once your partner's feet are here, we've got to guide them over. So we're going to keep our elbows wide as we pull, and then at the last moment, we're going to close them and allow our partner to hit that forward roll over their shoulder. When you're here, a few options. If you're comfortable, look over your shoulder, do a split, and climb up to the top. If you don't like that, that's fine. You can scissor your legs. Now it's a little bit of a race. Your partner will probably also be going to get up, so it's important that you bring your chest over your partner's chest, and now when they go to get up, they have these, the two arms pinned, you can cut the corner, and then it becomes more like a pass off of that position, okay? So let's look at it one more time. You're here, in any kind of open guard situation, your partner stands up. You're gonna go two feet on the hips. You could put your foot in here, okay? For right now, we're going simple variation with the heels on the inside. Hand down by the cuff, that's great. Alternatively, you can take your hand, put it up here by your partner's tricep. We're gonna pull, first job, head over head. Second job, feet off the floor. One, two, now that he's here, we're gonna guide him. I'm gonna take him over my right side. Okay, so closing the elbows, let him fall onto the right side. From here, try not to kick your partner straight up in the air like this. Okay, you saw that once his feet got off the floor, I kind of guide him over my right shoulder instead of like launching him up to the sky. That's not the, the, the throw. Okay, if you can, you'll watch your partner fall and then follow them up to the mouth. If you don't like that, that's fine too. You're gonna scissor your legs, and now it's a little bit of a chase. We keep our grips. As he goes to get up, I'm gonna bring my head forward. That means that if he does get up, he's gonna get up on the bottom. We still have a collar grip, and in some cases, you can either pin, or if he makes it all the way to turtle position, you have your hand in position so that you can get your grips, you can start to turn the corner, take your partner through, and now you're in position to strangle. So, regardless of how you choose to finish Toy Nagi, it's a very simple, fundamental uh, sweep. You learn it probably, you know, your first six months of jujitsu, but it stays with you for a really long time, okay? It's a high level technique from standing on the ground, and as you get better and better at it, you can become more and more of a threat from the bottom. Thank you very much for watching. Check out below for links, comments, questions, all that good stuff. See you soon.